Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to filter emails in Gmail and then move them to a folder or label of your choice. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. From time to time, you might find that your Gmail inbox gets a little busy. A quick way to fix this is to move those emails that you don't need to read immediately to one of the folders shown in the left hand panel of your inbox. The easiest way to start doing this is to find an example of the email you want to filter from your inbox. I'll click on this Twitter email once to open it. If I now move my mouse cursor to the top right of the email, you'll see there's a three dots or ellipsis icon shown here. If I click on that, a number of additional actions are shown, but the one I'm interested in is the filter messages like this option. Let's choose that now. Gmail then opens a search filter window and it is automatically added the details of this email that will help to identify any emails that are received from Twitter in the future. I now want to tell Gmail what to do with the emails that it has filtered. To do that, I'll click on the create filter link at the bottom of the search box. This opens a new page from which we can choose a number of options. Now I want to move those filtered emails to a folder. To do that, I'm going to click on the checkbox next to the apply the label option. When using Gmail, you can consider labels to be just a different name for folders. I now want to choose the folder or label to add the filtered emails to. If I click on the small arrow to open the drop down menu, I'll choose to move these mails to the Twitter folder I've created already. If you're not sure how to add a new folder or label in Gmail, check out the Woggle guide shown above that explains how to do this. Moving to the bottom of this page, I also want to tell Gmail to move existing emails in my inbox to my folder. I'll click on the checkbox next to this option to immediately move those emails to my new folder. To finally create your filter and make it active, all you need to do now is click on the large blue Create Filter button. Gmail confirms that the filter has been created. And if I click into the Twitter folder in the left hand panel of Gmail, you'll see that a number of Twitter emails have been automatically moved to it. If you want to edit or delete the filter you've created in the future, don't forget you can check out the Woggle guide shown above that explains how to do this. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.